Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. Like many common names, mistletoe gets applied to plants from different genera. This video is about Viscum album, sometimes called European mistletoe, but mostly just mistletoe. There are two important things about mistletoe that shape its stories. It is a parasitic plant, meaning that it never puts its roots into the earth. This leads to all manner of superstitious folklore, imbuing the plant with magical properties that can only be maintained by avoiding contact with the ground. And the way the berries form results in a doctrine of signatures association with male genitalia, and hence potency, leading to the well-known tradition of kissing under a sprig of mistletoe at Christmas. That's one version of the origin of the tradition, the other being that the Druids revered it as a bringer of peace and reconciliation, and enemies would lay down their arms if they met under mistletoe. In spite of its parasitic nature being known since the time of the Druids, there are those who believe that it was used to make the cross on which Christ was crucified, and thereafter condemned to grow only in a way that would prevent it becoming large enough to be used in this way. The plant contains viscotoxins, but, perhaps because white berries don't have the attractiveness of red or purple, there are few, if any, cases of poisoning. It does provide an interesting example of the difference between absolute and relative risk. There are those who say that only artificial mistletoe should be brought into the house because of the risk of poisoning if young children eat the berries of the real plant. But that ignores the choking hazard from eating a plastic berry. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.